A boy dressed as a girl is accused of raping an actual girl in the bathroom of a school in Loudoun County, Virginia. That boy apparently has just been found guilty by a judge. The father of the girl who says she was raped is called Scott Smith, and he said he plans to file a lawsuit against the school system over this, and that can't come too soon. At a recent school board meeting, the superintendent of Loudoun County Schools, a guy called Scott Ziegler, said, quote, we don't have any records of assaults occurring in our restrooms because, of course, they couldn't be bothered to keep track. What does that have to do with the equity agenda? Nothing. What do we care about our students? Nothing. So students walked out of school today in Loudoun County into protest. Lou Rosiak is with The Daily Wire. He broke this story and deserves the credit for it. He joins us tonight with an update. Luke, thanks so much for coming on. Everything about this story is stomach turning. T tell us where we are tonight, please. Well, yesterday the kid was convicted in court of both assaults. The first one that happened in a bathroom uh, where he was convicted of rape. Uh, and then the second one where the school didn't tell anyone it had happened, transferred him to a different school, and he was arrested in October 6. Um, so, you know, I broke that story on your show a couple weeks ago and in the Daily Wire. And most of the media largely ignored it because they said it was unsubstantiated. Um, two days ago, Barack Obama alluded to it while campaigning with uh, Terry McAuliffe, calling it phony right-wing outrage. Uh, yesterday, everything was substantiated in court, including a uh, bizarre detail that the fact that this kid was wearing a skirt is actually central to his defense. He claims that his wristwatch got caught on the skirt he was wearing while he was hanging out in the girl's bathroom, and that caused inadvertent sexual contact to occur. So Barack Obama, who really is a heartless monster, and I'm glad that's clear to everyone now, described the rape of a child as phony right-wing outrage? That, this is what, you know, he's talking about parents being up in arms in Virginia and basically claiming it's all cultural war stuff. First of all, I never really cared about the fact that this is transgender. The bigger issue here is that school districts do not have the same priorities as parents. And that's, that's really right. what Terry McAuliffe hit the nail on the head with saying, you know, he doesn't think parents should be telling schools what to teach. The head of the teachers union said something similar this week. So the issue is what's the appropriate role for parents in schools? And the Democrats seem to think they don't have one. Um, these are our kids. We're going to raise them in these government schools. Um, the problem is the, the, the main case study that they had for this parents are bad movement it turned out to be a total hoax. I mean, this guy who was arrested, and, you know, he looks like a blue-collar guy. He's angry at school board meeting. They thought he was a bigot. Maybe he was opposed to masks. The clip that the media had the whole time of him, you can hear his wife screaming at the end as, as her husband is hauled away in handcuffs. My daughter was raped in school, and this is what happened. So no one asked this guy why he was mad. We also found out uh, this week that the White House worked with the National School Boards Association to write the letter that called this guy and other parents domestic terrorists. Terrorists, which the F, which the DOJ then used to justify FBI involvement. Yeah. So your daughter gets raped in a school bathroom. The school doesn't care or even keep track of the rape. And then you get denounced by the president and the DOJ as a domestic terrorist for complaining about it. It really does tell you everything. And we wouldn't know this without your reporting. Luke Rosiak, thank you. Thank you.